If you have had a stressful day today, don't worry about it because these luscious glowing bevels are going to make everything better. All right, it's good for your mental health, like LaCroix. Mm. This is my favorite way to make text look stunning in my videos, intro animations, etc. And since we're creating a metal text effect, our intro has to have metal music. By the way, this is the effect that you guys requested in my last video where we covered that really useful disintegration effect, which you can find a link to in the description. So how the heck was an effect like this created in After Effects? Well, it's based off the Video Copilot Fantasy Bevels technique, but this is the simple version in case you're like me, where you're really into saving time, efficiency, big results for small amounts of work, and focusing on really what matters. So I can't wait to show how this effect was created. Let's go ahead and create a new composition. Let's grab our text tool right here. Let's click and let's type in what visionary transform visions into reality with visual effects. Okay. You can see what font I'm using here. Make it the right size. I like to go to this align window and just center it so I can center it horizontally and vertically. If you can't ever find a window, just go up here to window and you can find it right here. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is pre-compose this text. So right click on it, go to pre-compose and we'll call this text. So if I ever want to change the final composition, I just go in this text composition and everything updates in the final composition. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is drag in a texture and these will be in the project file you can download from visionaryfire.com. So let me just scale this down so we can get max resolution. Now what I want to do is pre-compose this texture and that's important. So pre-compose, call this texture. And basically how this whole effect is going to work is we're going to apply a CC glass effect to this texture. So we go to our effects and presets, type in CC glass. So let me just show you how this works real quick. We're going to go over here to surface and we, if let's say we choose this text layer, you can see that it's going to add some real 3D distortion to the texture. Let's say we turn down the softness. Ha, huh, you can kind of see where we're going with this, but we don't want this real soft look, right? What we're going to do is actually create a bevel map that's going to create this sharp chiseled bevel. So let's go ahead and start creating that CC glass map or that bevel map. So what I'll do is actually duplicate this text layer. So hit control D or edit duplicate or command D for our Mac people. And then we'll right click and go pre-compose, call this bevel map. So we want to jump inside this bevel map composition. And what we want to do for the correct bevel map is to add a dark inner glow to this text effect. So you can do this by right clicking on the text, go to layer styles and choose inner glow. We want this to darken instead of lighten. So let's go to the blending mode, choose multiply and we'll choose the color to be black. Aha, uh -huh, that's just what we're going for. And it's also important that we change the technique from a softer to precise. That way we're going to create some hard chiseled bevels. Okay, so, so you don't get lost. Let me go ahead and show you what this bevel map is going to do in the main composition. So you can go up here, go to the parent composition, which is the main composition. And let's go ahead and turn off everything except the texture layer. So let's go over here to CC glass and we'll choose the bevel map that we just created. All right, see, you can see that looks amazing. No, I'm kidding. That looks terrible. We have to turn the softness all the way down to zero and boom holy crap that's starting to look amazing now to get rid of the rest of this metal texture right we only want it to exist where the text is what we can do is apply a set matte effect to the texture so this is basically like a track map but it's an effect which works better in this situation and so for the layer we'll choose the text so it grabs the alpha from this text layer and boom, there you have it. So you can kind of see the basic structure of this effect. Now, this is the funnest part. We're going to add some roughness to this bevel to make it look like more metal or more rocky. So we want to jump in the bevel map. And guys, there's so many adjustments we can make to this bevel map to completely transform the look of this text. But what I want to do is add some roughness to these edges. So what I'm actually going to do is create a new solid. There, a new solid or control Y because I recommend shortcuts. And we'll call this fractal noise. And you could never guess what effect I'm about to add. It would be a fractal noise. And what I want to do is make this fractal noise an add blending mode. And you can also see that this makes the bevels a lot smaller, but we can turn down the contrast or maybe turn down the brightness a little bit to make it less intense. Let's see how this looks so far. I'll go back to our main composition. So we now have this really nice rough bevel. I'm going to go back in here and make some more adjustments. What I want to do is turn down the size of this fractal noise, maybe to like 40. And uh, another fractal type that looks good is max. See how this looks in the main composition. Ooh, 
Very cool. I could also try inverting the fractal noise and maybe turn down the brightness a little bit. <laughs> awesome. I love that rocky feel to those edges. So now here's the part where this effect really starts to look stunning and we're going to play with the lighting. So let's go to our texture where the CC glass is and let's go down here to light and instead of doing the effect light let's choose after effects lights. Now what we can do is add some after effects lights. So go to layer new light and this is going to start looking good. All right. So let's just move this up. This will be our main light. Click on the light hit AA. Turn up the intensity kind of a lot and then what we can do is push this back in Z space so it lights up the edges more than the front. Ha, just like that. Yeah, that's looking good. Cool, and then we can also duplicate this light and hit Control or Command D. Just move this maybe over here and uh, turn down the intensity of this light. Maybe I could even duplicate this again, put one at the bottom for kind of more of an ambient light. Maybe uh, push this forward in Z space so it lights the front of the effect. Then we'll turn down the intensity of this, so maybe 50. Can even make this bottom line a different color, like say blue. Oh, nice. I really like the way that looks. So the effect looks pretty awesome at this point. If you want to, you can add an adjustment layer over everything. Layer, new adjustment layer. And we'll just add a little bit of contrast with curves. Woo! Oh, man. Then we can. Maybe add a little bit of contrast to the red, turn it down with the shadows, and the same with the green a little bit. Man, that looks so stunning. And remember, you can go in this bevel map and make so many different creative adjustments to change the look of your effect. Maybe we could duplicate this fractal noise, change it to multiply, then change the size of it, then turn down the opacity, change the type. Boom, we have a completely different look to this effect. It's more rocky and has more texture. And it also looks really cool when you add some glows to these highlights. So what you can do is just pre-compose everything. So grab everything, pre-compose. And if I just duplicate this, then use the curves to isolate just the highlights. So turn it down to where we just have the highlights. Then we can add a fast box blur just like that and do an, maybe an add or a screen blending mode. Boom. Yes. Duplicate this again. Maybe we can do it in a directional blur instead of a fast blur. So we'll add directional blur. See how that looks. Oh, that. Oh, I could look at this for hours. Oh, LaCroix Plus Luscious Visuals. Oh my God. Pleasure. Okay. All right. If you guys like this technique, well, leave a like in return for me for making this free tutorial. If you want to check out that disintegration effect we did last week, it's a really useful effect. Just go to the link in the description, watch that tutorial. And plus, you guys can leave whenever you want, but I have a quick promo that I made also last week that I want to show you guys. Stay tuned. Okay, so my client wants me to apply fire to a moving object. Okay, well I think I'm pretty talented with Adobe After Effects. I got this, all right? Maybe just use trap code particular and add some turbulence. Come over here. Ah, oh, Fruit Loops. That looks fake as the moon landing. No, I'm kidding. Wait, who's, who made that? Who's Holy mother of Adobe, that looks realistic. How? Motion fire stock footage allows you to apply fire to moving objects. They're just short clips of fire that you piece together to match the motion of your moving object. Also, if you download visionary smoke from our website, you can apply smoke to a moving object like a cigarette or we have smoke stock footage. Now stock footage is the best because you can just easily drag and drop a smoke element into your scene. Holy lusciousness, that was easy. Guys, come over to visionaryfire.com. We have the best fire and smoke elements we have fire you can apply to the ground, burning buildings, windows, poles, uh, moving objects, and oh, you can't forget these high quality juicy explosions.